Time for 96.7 Yes FM Entertainment News. Taylor Swift is going to be at the AMA. So this is coming up on Sunday, by yeah, the way. Yeah, and she's not just going to be there. Oh, she's going to no. be uh, presented the Artist of the Decade Award. Now, there's a bunch of legalities that go uh-huh. with her performing uh-huh. any of her songs. And she, of course, has gone to Twitter. Yep. To mention all Just of these demands that she wants. to catch everyone up, uh, Scooter Braun, mm-hmm. a music industry icon, and maybe a little bit, you know, uh, crooked, um, he bought Taylor Swift's back catalog, all of her past music, and now he's saying that she can't perform any of her old songs right. at the ACM Awards because that would technically be considered re-recording her music, right. which she cannot contractually do until next year. So now he's laid down a couple of, of laws here. He says, all right, fine, uh, you can, but only if you don't re-record copycat versions and you stop talking about them. Oh, uh, wow. So she's now gone to Twitter, uh-huh. um, showing, asking her fans for support. And, right. of course, the Swifties right. have given everything, 110%. And uh, it's not known if Taylor will have her tweet taken down or not because some of the tweets that she said and she had uh, were kind of against Twitter policy, asking for a call to action. Okay, Matthew Perry. Yeah, from Appar- Prince. Apparently he has a thing mm-hmm. for Courtney Cox. Yes. Um, he has a crush on Courtney Cox. Mm-hmm. And although his character and Monica on Friends did end up together happily mm. ever after mm-hmm. uh, they never really dated in person but he's had a crush on her for a long time mm. uh, the only problem is although he can't get over her she has been dating a guy named Johnny McDavid since mm. 2013 okay. and they're still dating so it doesn't look like he's got very good odds of, uh, oh, yeah. of dating Courtney Cox well you never know I guess one can dream